For most of us, paying less than a buck for a gallon of gasoline is a fond memory. But those days are not over for an enterprising team of UCF mechanical engineering alumni and students. They are making their own fuel at a cost of just 80 cents a gallon. Well, essentially we designed a biodiesel reactor and what it's going to do is take the waste vegetable oil that they uh, throw away on campus and convert it into a fuel so that physical plant can supplement their fuel needs for their tractors and their uh, trucks that run diesel. It started as a senior design class project for Michael Schulist, Eric Williams, Jameson Jeffrey, and Chad Heinrich. They designed and then built this device housed inside a UCF utility plant. The system features a water heater, tanks, barrels, and tubes that transform vegetable oil into fuel that works in any diesel vehicle. Eric Williams uses the fuel in his van, and Jameson Jeffrey uses it too. I drive 50 miles to and from work every day, and uh, it's really, really nice passing by every single gas station and knowing that I don't have to stop there. While it started as a class project aimed at cutting UCF's fuel costs, the students since formed a company called Amber Station and want to market the fuel to other clients. They're starting small, but dreaming big. And we're not just talking about farmers either. We're, we're talking about other, uh, other, uh, other entities that have fleets of diesel-powered uh, diesel vehicles. Uh, so tow companies, delivery companies, uh, uh, the UPS, the FedExes. Uh, so this, this has a, a very far-reaching uh, impact. We're already seeing the benefits on campus. Several UCF vehicles are powered by the students' biodiesel fuel. That move cut the university's costs for biodiesel fuel by about two-thirds. And like the university, the students are saving money every time they drive. This is Chad Bennett for UCF Reports.